Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to review the AOSP ex extended ROM for the Moto X Play. So, quickly jumping into the settings and going into about phone, we can see it's running the AOSP extended ROM, which is based on top of Android 7.1.2 Nougat, which is the latest version and it has the security patch of May 5, 2017 as of recording this video so uh, for any ROM the most important thing for the flashers, flasher, flashers or the flasherholic out there is the customization offered by this ROM so it does offer the magis magisk manager and then extensions is where you can find the customization of the ROM so in the first tab in the extensions you'll find is the status bar tab where you can modify your status bar like here i've modified the battery icon to the circle one and then the next is clock date traffic indicators carrier label and miscellaneous extensions in the notifications panel you can select how many quick tiles or quick settings you want to be displayed in the notification uh, panel uh, again then coming to the navigation you can see I have customized the navigation bar according to my uh, preferences uh, I need uh, the sleep to get the phone to sleep instead of pressing the power button and then I often take a lot of screenshots so I have a screenshot uh, on the navigation bar so you can customize the recent UI as well uh, then it does offer lock screen lock screen customization as well and the last is the system customization you can customize animations uh, general tweaks and blur and animations etc so that's it from the customization side and now let's talk about the performance of the rom the, uh, for all the benchmarking geeks out there you can see i have run the anti do benchmark and it gives around 41641 scores on n2d and to do benchmark and the overall usability of this rom is really fluid uh, it doesn't give up any hiccups and it's really fl fluid the app opening speed is also fast there's just no complaints about this rom hardly any bugs as well and this rom does have supports the motorola gestures of twist to open the camera and camera quality on this rom is mediocre i mean you can't really expect much of the camera quality from this rom talking about the support for geo volt e uh, this rom doesn't have the support for the geo volt e services as you can see you can't make calls even though i have inserted this sim in the first sim slot and i have enabled the uh, lte and enhanced lte services this doesn't support the geo volt e services i don't know why maybe the developer will look on to the fix in the near future and we can hope for it as well um, about the battery backup on this rom uh, it, it does last me for a whole day and uh, i get about uh, around four four and a half to five hours of screen on time with wi-fi and lte services on on this rom so battery backup isn't an issue on this rom and this phone has aged as well pretty well and I'm certainly the bigger battery does count and the developers do have some thing some concern with the battery backup as well so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one